everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's video. Listen, if you were restoring a car and you were gonna spend fifty, sixty thousand dollars but you wanted to drive it as well, right? This is exactly how you would build it. This is the way you buy cars. Let someone else restore it. Let someone else spend the money. It's a passion of theirs, it's therapy, whatever it may be. And then you're the beneficiary of the car after they've driven it for a little while. And then you get to enjoy that at a much lower price, right? This is exactly what we're talking about here. If I own this car, well, I guess I do own this car. Once you own this car, you'll appreciate one of the reasons why we own this car. And this is some of them, you ready? We have a much larger engine to start out with, right? Much more power than originally came from the factory. We have a five speed instead of a four speed. So now you can drive up and through the mountains. You could go to the beach and not worry about stressing the car out. You have two tops. You have a convertible top and you have that great looking color matched hard top there, which gives this car two totally different looks, right? Imagine uh, when the soft tops up, it's got that cool convertible uh, British style. And then once you put the hard top, the color match hard top on, you have this cool uh, sports car because they did make these in hard tops as well. So you're getting the best of both worlds. We're gonna look at the restoration today, the detail, stuff like that. If you wanna take this car and take it to shows, you could do that as well. Or if you just wanna drive it to work, you can enjoy that as well. All right, so depending on the year of the car, uh, it changes color names from signal red to orient red, things like that. But what we have is bright red, okay? But it's a bright red that's not so bright, and it's one of the reasons why I like it. Some cars are just way too much in your face. This is a classic, classy red paint that's been show waxed and detailed, wet sanded and buffed, beautiful part of the restoration. I like to show that off because there's a lot of work that goes into this. You say, a lot of people say, Tone, I care about the mechanicals. I care about the underneath of the car. I don't care about whatever. The truth of the matter is they're not telling the truth. And the reason why is this car does have all restored mechanicals, all restored underneath, all restored interior. And if it was primered, right, it was just primered or rusty on the outside, they wouldn't buy it. So they're not being honest. You've got to have a nice looking car, man. And that's exactly what we have here. So come on up here, check out this. First off, look inside the paint in this video here. You can see the whole ceiling in there, all the beams, the air conditioning system. And while that may seem ugly at first, it makes my point. My point is it's mirror finish. You can see everything in there. And then lastly, I like to do this test here where you get to see the letters and see how crisp everything is so that you can see uh, exactly the detail and effort that went in there. Lastly, uh, we like to talk about the chrome and stainless because this is an expensive part of the car. Some of this stuff you can't even buy. So it has to be uh, massaged. You know, you're talking about 50 and 60 year old cars, right? Uh, these cars have dings, dents, and scratches in some of the chrome before it gets restored. You have to find a craftsman to do that. Then you have to find someone who can replay it and do those kinds of things. We found somebody, they've done it on this car and it is ready to go. All right, so I want to peek under the hood for a minute and I'll tell you why. You may not really care. We have a lot of our clients who buy cars here that are not mechanical nor care to be mechanical, right? They just love cars and they just want to drive the car and that's exactly what you're getting here. If you decide that you want to go to a show or something like that, you could do that here and this is why I wanted to bring this to your attention, all right? So under here, all beautifully detailed and painted the correct colors. All the original tags are on the engine. Uh, the tags there showing the VIN numbers and the file firing order, like all this original kind of cool stuff that's 60 years old, right? It's been restored, of course. This has a heater system in it. Not every car has a heater system back in the day. And he's like, oh, sh oh, I can't believe it. I forgot that. Yeah, they didn't have heaters. This does have a heater, adding to that whole kind of driving experience that I talked about. Rebuilt engines, rebuilt carburetors, more power, which I keep going back to because it's so much nicer to have more power. Uh, an upgraded cooling system, right? For the big deal for me because I don't want to be sitting in traffic and the car overheat. That's like the worst thing to happen. This has a, an aluminum radiator with uh, that's almost 50% bigger than the stock original radiator. And then again, all detailed, painted, everything is the right thing. New wiring, uh, double master cylinder, like all of the cool stuff if you wanted to go to a car show, looks amazing. All right, so uh, is it functional as well? Well, absolutely it's functional, okay? Um, it has, let me show you real quick. It has in it, right here, these are the windows, which is kind of cool. They slide, they clip right on the side when you put the soft top or the hard top on there. There's room in here for soft luggage. Uh, we got a toner cover covering that part in there. Detailed, painted, uh, new gaskets, stuff like that. And then when you're done here, this. Right 
right in there. Boom. Super nice looking back here too. I, I would like to point out that there is some style that people don't get. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. Because I get people all the time that say, Tone, that's a great looking car. But they don't know why it's a great looking car. So just give me 30 seconds. Humor me for a second. Like, look at the taillights here. We're in the jet age. It's 1960. This car has uh, been out since the 50s. It's giving a jet kind of powered look to it. Look at the hips that come over here. Being able to see the dash and everything. Once we get inside the car, you'll see some of the styling. The really tilted back grill. Remember the 53, you know, in the 50s we had the MGTDs, TFs, uh, all of those which were like, you know, lawn tractors compared to the style of this car here. Go back and look just a couple years and see the difference between what you have here uh, and what they were selling before. All right, so imagine it's a Friday at work and instead of taking your daily car you decide to drive your MG. A, right, to work, right? And you're walking up to them going, man, I love this car. That is so good looking. It's already a game changer to begin with, right? So you decide to go ahead and get in, reach in here, get in. I'm 6'1", by the way, and I want to share how much room is in here, right? My legs, I can barely uh, push the pedal all the way to the floor because my legs are, there's a lot of room in here. Check the pictures out. But here's my point. My point is that you call whoever it is and say, listen, man, I'm on the way home. I see you in a little bit. And then, uh, then you turn off the feed. And I call it the feed because you got your Twitter feed, your text feed, your boss feed, the significant other feed, every feed of everything coming at you all the time, all that noise. And you need a minute. This right here is that minute. You get in, if you want to, we can add a stereo system in here or we could hide it in the back underneath uh, uh, the seat here and you would just stream it from your phone, keeping this dash. Look how cool this piece is, right? Full array of gauges, right? 7,000 RPM tack, 120 mile an hour speedometer. All of that's cool because you're watching it fall and rise as you're doing the shifting and what have you. And you're driving your car, man, and you're smiling like I'm smiling right now. And you're in this thing and you're just going for a drive. And you're like, oh, my God, man, why didn't I do this earlier? And, of course, you should have done it earlier. But you didn't, but now you have. So you're going for that drive. You're going to join it. Or you take your significant other out, man. You guys go to dinner in this car. Can you imagine? Dinner is way better tasting in this car than it is in your daily SUV. Guaranteed. All right, so let's run down some of, we talked about a lot. We talked about a lot. Whew. All right, let's talk about this for a second. All right, so uh, beautifully restored. Look at the pictures of the car underneath. Look at the engine shots. We just did a video just so you could see, because you know what, pictures, man, can make, anybody can manipulate pictures and whatever. Here you get to see in the video the real world. We saw how beautiful the paint was, these upgraded alloys. So and some things too, if you want to change, like if you don't love this look of these wheels, you could put stock wheels and tires on here. Even better, right? The fact that you can make any of the changes that you want. But here we have a five speed. We have an upgraded power plant under the hood. We have a car we could take to shows or just drive to work or go out to dinner on the weekends. We have two tops, soft top, hard top, windows that get, go inside. This has a heating system as well. And you say, Tone, it has a heating system. Why do you keep talking about that? Well, because many cars back in the day, especially British cars, did not have a heating system. This is an important piece of it, right? This is when uh, MG really graduated and made a world-class kind of great looking, great driving car. I'm just telling you, man, I think about driving these cars. I've driven this one. I've driven all of these cars around here and they are a lot of fun. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you uh, all we can about this. Find a way to get it in your garage. Don't forget to share this uh, down there below. If you don't mind with your friends, hopefully they like it as well. Click the like button. That helps us get our message out and uh, maybe subscribe to the channel too. We've got new stuff coming out all the time and I'll see you on the next one.